so here's a super simple way to do nickel electroplating. I like to, before I electroplate my item, I like to make a little nickel bath here. The water is very warm. It actually started out as boiling water. Inside of here, I have uh, a solution which is just pure tap water with uh, nickel ammonium sulfate. And I mixed one quart of tap water to uh, three uh, ounces of nickel ammonium sulfate. And I like to test it before I do my actual item. So what I'm going to do here is I'm just going to take a penny, nice shiny penny, and I went ahead and I cleaned that penny up, and I used a little vinegar when I cleaned it. That works real well with copper. And I'm going to set it into the bath here. And as you can see, I'll go ahead and I'll let, let that stick out a bit. As you can see, I have two batteries, just a couple of D cells. Everybody I know that does these nickel plates always uses um, things that plug into the wall as far as uh, you know, something like uh, 12 volts, something like that, a very high amperage to bring it across. I've had long, long, long-term bad results anytime I used anything other than a very small amount of electricity for this. And check this out. This was only a couple of seconds, and look at that. We've already got a nickel plate starting. See how it's getting shiny. Now with nickel, when you nickel plate something like copper, steel plates really well as well. And when you nickel plate it, oh, it's really looking shiny and good. Uh, it'll be a bit dull until we buff it later. And this test already looks to me like we're going to have a really good plate. Now over here on this side, connected to the positive terminal of the battery, is a plate which is pure nickel. So we're using that as our anode. And then our cathode over here is going to be the item that we wish to plate. And actually, probably, with the water, especially with the water being hot, this is only going to take a few minutes. Another thing, you might want to have a stirrer. Most nickel baths I've seen have some kind of a mechanical stirrer if you're doing a lot of nickel plating. And look at that. It's really getting a good shine on it. We'll put it back in. So a lot of baths will have a stirrer because for some reason uh, it does seem that the crystals uh, do fall out of solution after a bit. And that's all there is to it. We'll leave that for just a few minutes and we're going to wind up, I hope, with a nickel plated penny. So I'll go ahead and shut the camera down for a few right, moments here. really neat about using these low voltages and just taking your time to plate it is you don't really get any bubbling in the solution and your piece comes out. Check this out. Look at that perfect shiny nickel finish on the whole penny. You also wouldn't normally use an alligator clip. I would use a little charge rail. Pretty much just set it on anything conductive or cradle it in anything conductive. I used the alligator clip here and I just moved it once uh, so that the spot where the alligator clip was holding would also get plated. But this will require almost no buffing at all and our test is complete. This is going to work fantastic. Finally comes out of the bath, you have a perfect copper hearing panel.